Hello friends, Anak, and today uh, we will do a shear wall design in Tecla Structural Designer. So there have been many comments regarding the shear wall design, and uh, you know there are some problems associated with the shear wall design. Okay, there are some warnings which come like the uh, member collision error, and what are the problems we'll uh, discuss you know honestly and uh, see uh, you know if you, there is a solution to it, and if there are problems. Uh, and how it should be addressed or whether we can address this or not. Okay, so let's move ahead and share the screen now. Now, uh, you can see this is the Tecla Structural Designer setup. Uh, just to click on new here. And uh, now, first of all, I'll go to model and create some construction levels here. So I'm going to create, uh, you know, not a two story, three story, like at least six story building because uh, like uh, the shear wall, you know, on one side, two side, it gets past one side tends to fail in the, those cases. So I'll create that. So I'll insert level below here first, minus 1.5, and insert another level uh, above it. Okay. This will be SSL since it will typically, you know, this also pin level also slab is given in uh, larger buildings. Okay. For the compaction purpose, three. And this will give, let's give all the floor 200 here, that thickness. Okay. Just to have. So this is G, G plus one, G plus two, G plus three, G plus four, G plus five, and G plus six. So let's do up to this, no problems in that. Okay, so let's create some grids here. Okay, grid lines and uh, uh, let's take a grid line here. Okay, uh, and uh, just some grid line here also. Okay, we'll just uh, decide later. Okay, so now we'll go here parallel quick. So parallel quick grid line, uh, select this F2. And we now we can edit the value here. So let's go here, uh, five meter. Okay, do like this. And then let's go here more, let's say 10 meter from here. Okay. And from here also, uh, let's go here, uh, six meter. And then 12 meter. Okay. Okay, so lift will be in this uh, proportion. Let's insert another one from here, more six meters. And let's insert another one from here, more five meter. Okay. So the lift can be in, uh, sorry, the shear wall can be in this five meter, five meter uh, portion in this portion here and the remaining portion will be columns. So first of all, we'll go with, click on escape. We are at the plane level here. So we'll select our uh, columns. So columns by default, 400 to 400 size is there. So let's keep this. Okay, we'll not change the reinforcement and all for now. Okay, because, so let's keep this column and we'll check, check in the structure 3D. These are the columns here which are available, obviously. And now, in this is the, since this is the plinth level, we'll also uh, we'll, uh, you know, put the shear wall first. So mesh wall, click on mesh wall, select this, uh, select this, select this, select this, select this, and select this. So first of all, let us check uh, whether if we have any error, okay? So click on validate. So till now, we don't have any error, okay? So the problem comes with member collision, right? So till now, we don't have any member collision error. Okay, so let's go to beam. Uh, so by default beam, let's assign. Okay. So let's check now whether there is an error. Till now also, there is no error. Okay. So if, if, the, so if the grid lines are there, there is no member intersection error here. Okay. So let's go with the plane level and add the slabs in all these levels. Let's do this. Okay, let's click on escape. So click on the structure 3D, you can see like this. So um, here, if you can copy this uh, to the, you know, click on validate again. Okay, if you can copy this to the construction levels, let's see uh, here, uh, you know, in structure one, if we copy mean similar to base and then click on okay. And then go to construction levels and make this as unique. Okay, click on okay. Okay, done. Click on validate once again. Till now also no problem. So okay, then go again in uh, in structure two. Make this as one. Structure three. All let it be one because except the terrace, I can make give everything as one uh, in normal projects also. 
give us one click on okay okay uh validate so no problem and this will be unique but let for now let's do one later we'll just change this okay construction levels and then change unique change to unique and validate so till now there is no intersection error but you know we have to solve the problem of uh you know if there is any problem of the, the member not passing also so that also we have to solve so that's why so first of all let me just select the supports here uh okay let's just simply the simple way select the entire structure and then in here uh you know have this supports 16 items so make them as fixed why fixed because if there is fixed there won't be any moment there is no moment how will it design the foundation so uh, properly so that's why uh and uh, here also this supports uh, you can do as fixed but uh, you know that will this supports in detail you can do as fixed here uh here we have here we have the option in here you can choose just do this as mx fixed my my is also fixed and okay so we can do like this also select this and control select this and uh, go and select this as fixed so now these two are also fixed so the entire support is uh, now fixed okay so this is fixed here so for these four columns uh, this uh, you know share wall is up to this much so these four columns let's increase the four columns you know this if we select these columns here so for selecting the columns we can go to this particular level and uh, select them like this okay and once this is selected like this we can go here and cast in place concrete columns okay so top level what is top level make this uh, will increase the level so for that go to construction levels insert above and this will be 2.4 2.4 okay so top level do this as structure it okay so now go to the whole structure you can see this is extended so validate once again okay and now so after validation you can go to structures and go to levels and go to the structure it so in the structure it option you have this beam select the beam apply the beam select the slab apply the slab okay so now you can see so now let's apply a normal loads which we apply on our structure normally okay so let's put the base and uh, let's here apply some dead load here so let's apply some load and fully ideal uh, of let's say uh, uh, 11 or 12 you can calculate uh, the value here and then provide so let's uh, provide this here okay this will be used for still purpose only in the uh, lift portion uh, where you you know don't have the lift you can provide this like this and in this portion it will not be you know, possible because only the load will be self-calculated and applied okay so only this portion will provide let's go to the next load structure one okay in the structure one uh, we'll also provide some dead uh, dead load so for dead load full udl of uh, how much did you provide in the ground floor the same will we provide not in the this floor You can see like this, like this. Loads, uh, it was 12. So we provide 12 only in this floor as well. Okay, full UDL and uh, 12. By the way, if you don't know how to calculate this, it's simply uh, the calculation is very simple. Okay, I'll just tell you later, but right now is just looking into the structure first. Okay. So these are the load of the walls, which you can calculate and then put simply the height into the unit weight. Into the thickness of the wall you need to do this okay so then we'll go to our level load level load and in the level load we'll apply the float finish load of one kilometer per meter square and then we'll go and select the post load so here we'll see we'll apply the imposed load of for the residential building two kilometer per meter square the post load is applied so now since the structure was similar so if you turn on the dead load you can see up to this floor we have already completed dead end and then imposed so the terrace we need to give 
So we have, let's go to the terrace floor. And in the so this is the headroom level. Go to the terrace floor. And in the terrace floor, here we'll apply the uh Imposed load is not required in the terrace floor. Terrace floor, you know, imposed load is required, but it is not required for the earthquake, you know, uh, part. Okay, but let's provide this is a small value level load two kilonewton per meter square, and here uh, dead load level load. Let's provide one for normal floor finish and one one other one for you know, uh, you know, waterproofing. Okay, so let's apply this. And then also in the dead, let's go by the wall load of some uh, parapet wall. Let's apply the parapet wall load of let's say four. Okay, so four the parapet wall load one, two, three. Along these three edges, we provide this. Okay, so this is satisfied. So in the last level, we provide some load for the headroom. So uh, you know the water tank. So dead, and then you have the level load. So let's apply the five kilonewton per meter square load for the water tank load okay so like this you can see imposed here and then dead so these are the loads which are available here and let's also go for the seismic load also since uh, uh, since uh, the structure should be designed for a particular load so go to load and uh, seismic wizard and seismic wizard here and code spectra and ignore seismic below your select a clean level here and uh, select a seismic zone let's go the maximum seismic zone seismic zone 5 and important factor one, important factor one point two is for two hundred occupancy. Important factor one point five is for all other office and uh, all the necessary buildings. Okay, so this is it. And then we have this no plan irregularities. Okay, and then we have this structure type is you know RC you know frame buildings without any masonry infills. All the, this will be all other buildings because our building will have brick walls, so it will be all other buildings. So accordingly, that uh, it will calculate the approximate time period and. Then our it will be moment frame system, special moment resisting frame because in about about zone three everything should be designed as per ductile detailing. That's why this is the slab unit weight, hundred percent of the dead load and twenty five percent and fifty fifty percent of the uh, sorry twenty five percent of the live load if uh, the live load is less or equal to three and fifty percent of the live load if the live load is more than three. So it, it is in table number ten of IS one eight nine three two thousand sixteen. Okay. So then click on next and store it check, let it check here and click on OK and then operating next and uh, next and then finish. So uh, this is done and after this is done, then we'll create some load combinations here. Okay, combination next and you can click this, this one, next, next and finish. Click on OK and design and design all static so let's see if the structure is passing or if it gives any warning especially the uh, rcc uh, wall part okay let's see that we'll not uh, skip the recording because this is very important problem and which has some problems of member collision and also if, even if you solve the member collision uh, sometimes the one of the you know three shear walls fails so it's very important problem so you can see the shear wall has passed some columns have failed and some beams have failed. So first of all, let me just just to be you know sure. Uh, let us you know make the columns pass as well, and then we'll see the shear wall errors because we don't want to uh, just uh, ruin the experience of. Okay, actually the all the columns have passed. So what I can do, I can select uh, like this, and okay, first of all, let me just check the shear wall design here. Okay, just check check this. Right click and then uh, generate. Report for member. The report for member, you can find this, this one. Okay. So this is the report for member. So it is passing in the, all the checks here. And uh, you, know, you can see. So you can see the horizontal bars here, 12, 12 mm bars at 400 distance have been provided. So in, in, it is also passing in that. We can convert this into 16 mm bars for sure. Okay. So yeah, this is the result coming from this for this particular panel. You can go to scene content and turn off the slab items and uh, in the bottom also turn off the load to just, just better check right click and then uh, you can have interactive design also and you can have the check wall static option also. So in the check wall static option also you will have this particular result here. Uh, you can see this member is passing uh, in here. You can see 200 mm also passing this shear in the shear horizontal bars, you can see this is the horizontal bars used and panel one design, concrete cover, uh, vertical bars. For the vertical bars also, it is passing. 
So like this, we we'll close this and let me just right click and uh, then just create a uh, right on generate drawing here. Okay, click on okay. Let the generate drawing be generated here. Uh, okay, so it will take some time for the AutoCAD to open. Okay, let me just, uh, in the meantime, let me just uh, check the report for this member. Okay, let the AutoCAD open. I will show you after this opens here. Okay, so eight into eight bars, you know, sorry, there is 12 mm bars and there is spacing of 400 mm here. And uh, along this, we have eight mm bars at a spacing of uh, 125 mm center to center. Okay, so eight mm bars is the, you know, you can see the lateral bars and 12 mm bars is longitudinal bars, which has been used in this particular, uh, you know, project here. Okay, so same thing you can find in AutoCAD also. Okay, so uh, this happening. Okay, so. Uh, okay, same thing you'll find in AutoCAD also. I'm just having some problems with AutoCAD. Okay, so this is the drawing which you find in AutoCAD also. Okay, so this is the structure and uh, this is the uh, design which you are getting here. And if you just uh, want to make the columns pass as well, just select this and uh, complete column just to complete the project here. Complete columns here, uh, 18 items. And uh, in here, the sizes, we'll just change this size to uh, maybe uh, 450 into 450. And then we'll check here. And then we'll check again, design and design all static. So the column is passing, you can then pass them individually also. No problem in that. Okay, just checking here. So I'm not skipping any step because it's a very important problem here and it needs to be solved. So you can see uh, this has been solved here. So you can see this uh, beams actually uh, the load provided in this beam is, you know, uh, you know, for the you know, uh, water tank part also. So minimum we need to give, I think, three hundred mm depth, you know, width and thickness. Then we'll right click and then go, uh, right click and then go design selection static. So minimum th uh, we need to give this. Let's see. Okay, now it is passing. So the entire structure is passing now. Okay. So if you like my effort, uh, just drop a like, uh, heart in your comments. If you have any further uh, queries on Tecla Structural Design or any other software, you have Pro, let me know in the comment section. Thank you. Bye-bye.